Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I wanted to look at uh, some of the more interesting magic training methods that are out there. There are tons of them, not all of them are going to be good, but some of these may be more AFK, more cost effective, or just plain out more fun than some of the more conventional magic training methods. So today I'm going to be looking through every spell book, looking through every spell and finding some of the more unique options for training. I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. Now, first up here, I have a really interesting method. This one did used to be popular a while ago, but isn't as much anymore just because of how kind of obscure and niche it is. Uh, now, it's on the Lunar Spellbook, and the spell I'm talking about here is the Hunter Kit spell. It requires level 71 uh, magic as well as Dream Mentor and Lunar Diplomacy completed to be able to actually cast it. Now, it costs two Astral Runes and two Earth Runes, and all it does is put a hunter kit in your inventory. Now what's kind of interesting is that if you open the hunter kit, it has a few different things in it. The most valuable being the impling jar. And if you add the contents into the price checker, it's actually worth around 750 GP, where two astral runes is actually only worth 340, which means you're gonna make at least about 300 GP per cast. The only thing you really got to keep in mind is the fact that you need to open them up. It's kind of a strange method. In my opinion, it's easier to open them up afterwards, which is going to impact the XP per hour. Now, the ideal way to do this is you need to fill up your bank with bank fillers by coming over here to the show menu button and then filling up your bank with fillers. However, before you do that, you wanna make sure that you have at least one stack in your bank of hunter kits as well as the individual items if you plan on doing it that way. Now, it can take a little bit to get into the groove of things, but once you get used to it, you can get uh, upwards of 70k an hour, closer to 65k over a long period of time. But all you need to do is click on the Cast Hunter spell, click on your bank after a few ticks, click to deposit the Hunter Kit and then hit the exit key on your keyboard and repeat. So it is about 70k an hour if you don't take into account the time needed to open up the kits. However, if you do, the magic experience per hour drops to around 45k an hour and the GP per hour is about 250k to 300k. It is kind of an interesting method, and if the Impling Jars happen to be worth a lot, uh, this method becomes more and more viable. Now one method that I actually used when I was training my magic stats from around 60 to 75, that kind of area, was actually kind of AFK training with uh, Firebolt. Now the reason Firebolt specifically is that it can be a very cost effective spell to use, and mainly because of the Chaos Gauntlets. The Chaos Gauntlets specifically increase the max hit of Firebolt by 3, making it only 1 damage behind the Blast spell equivalent. And because it is a Bolt spell, uh, it only uses 1 Chaos Rune, which is extremely cheap per cast. Now that in combination with the Smoke Battle Staff and the Occult Necklace is going to increase our max hit even further. And on top of that, because we are on a Slayer task, our max hit will be increased even further, which will give us a pretty decent max hit uh, for almost no risk, we're actually going to go into the wilderness for this one. I am pretty much only risking chaos runes, and on top of that, it's going to be very AFK. Now, the requirements for this method can be extremely low. If you're just using the smoke battle staff and the chaos gauntlets, you will only need a magic requirement of 60. The reason for that is that to complete Family Crest, you need 59 magic. However, if you want to use the occult necklace, you'll need 70 magic, but it's kind of up to you. Now obviously this doesn't work on every Slayer task and I would even recommend not generally doing it in the wilderness because you probably want to be more AFK while you're doing this. But this is the task I had and it's actually a pretty good one regardless. Now with my current setup my max hit is an 18 which considering how cost effective this is, Chaos Ruins being worth only about 60 right now, makes this method viable for me. Personally I would say the Occult is kind of debatable because you probably want to start this at lower magic levels. Another thing people recommend is the Tome of Fire, which um, sometimes I would recommend that. But right now the Tome of Fire is ridiculously expensive. Would not recommend doing that right now, but it is an option sometimes. Okay, I actually just hit a 19. So with my setup, my approximate cost per hour is around 65,000 coins. I'm getting roughly 50,000 experience an hour in magic and around 15,000 in hit points, which I think is pretty good considering how cheap this method is. Now the next method is a spell that has changed a bit over the last year, and that is the Plank Make spell. Now the way this spell used to work is it was a point and click spell that you had to use 26 times 
to go through your inventory similar to enchanting rings or something like that. However, not that long ago they changed it so that you can do it in an AFK manner similar to the string jewelry spell. You do still have the option of manually casting it to get higher experience rates, but personally what I think makes this method extremely powerful is the AFK nature of it, so that is what I will be testing today. Now on top of 86 magic, you will also require Dream Mentor and Lunar Diplomacy for the spellbook, and first up here let's look at the total cost. We have a Nature Rune, 2 Astral Runes, a Mahogany Log, and 1050 coins, bringing the total cost to 1956. And the Mahogany Plank, which is what you'll get out of it, is actually 2034, so you're actually going to be profiting about 100 GP per cast, on top of getting a pretty significant amount of magic experience. I would highly recommend only doing this with Mahogany Planks, because the other logs won't be break even, you'll actually be losing money on them. Now if you do have a Rune Pouch, that is minorly useful, but not required in any way. Now for your inventory, you'll just need Nature Runes and Astral Runes, as well as money. Uh, you'll want an Earth Staff equipped, as well as a full inventory of Mahogany Logs, and all you need to do is click Cast Plank Make on Mahogany Logs, and it will slowly go through them all, with possibly the most annoying sound effect possible. I'm going to turn that off. Now the experience rate per hour is around 90,000 uh, magic experience an hour. However, it can climb up to around 150,000 XP per hour if you are focusing and clicking but again, I would highly recommend using this as an AFK magic method, as if you want to focus while training magic, there are better options out there than plank make. But realistically, this is probably one of the easiest and most AFK ways to get 99 magic without spending a dime. However, the main drawback is that it has a pretty high magic requirement to use of 86. Okay, next up here is another rather interesting spell on the Lunar Spellbook. And that is the Bake Pie spell. Now disclaimer, you want to be very patient with this when you're buying ingredients. For example, uh, the Botanical Pie, if you were patient, you might be able to get it for around 1100, 1200. You can see here that it doesn't trade very frequently. However, if you try to instantly buy the ingredients, you are most likely going to pay a significant amount more. However, with that said, what's really cool about this method is that the spell is only level 65 and it's going to give you both cooking and magic experience. Now the pies that I would recommend doing are either the summer pie, potentially the botanical pie, or any of the lower level pies if you're really mostly in it for magic experience. Now what's really nice about this method is all you need to do is click bake pie once, and it is going to slowly go through, bake all the pies, there's no chance of failure, and it's very quick. Like it's at least a couple ticks quicker than string jewelry, and plank make. So you will go through a full inventory extremely quickly and you're going to be getting an absolute load of cooking experience and magic experience. Now this is definitely something that you won't be able to constantly do. You'll be able to maybe buy half an hour's worth of pies every once in a while. So you can see here with the botanical pies we're getting over 300k cooking experience an hour. That is absolutely insane and we're already getting 100k plus magic experience. Just doing botanical pies, I'm getting 450k total experience every hour. We've already gained 10,000 just in this recording. So yes, it's not very practical. It could be extremely expensive, but if you're patient and you get lucky, you can buy the pies at a cheap price. There's no reason not to do this because of the potential experience rates that you could get. Doing this with summer pies would probably be pushing 450,000 500,000 XP an hour in cooking, which is definitely top tier for sure. And finally, another magic training method that isn't used as much is the string jewelry spell. This one is kind of a combo of how I view the bake pie spell and the plank make spell. If you are patient and you can find unstrung amulets to buy at a decent price where you're not going to be losing a ton of money, I would definitely go for it. Like for example, I just went ahead and instantly bought a thousand jade amulets unstrung for 675 and they're going for about 1000 already, so we're actually profiting from this, which is really uncommon and awesome. If you can break even with this method, you are doing something right, because similar to the plank make spell, it is very AFK which means all we need to do is click it once. Now equipped you'll want a mud battle staff or a mud staff and you'll need astral runes in your inventory. Now this spell can get you upwards of 160,000 XP per hour when you're paying attention. It will drop a bit if you miss click a couple times but 160k an hour 
while being a very AFK method and in its current state, break even or even profitable is a really, really good option. Now on top of getting the magic experience, you're also gonna get a token amount of crafting experience, which is not gonna be a lot, but you can get around eight or 9K an hour, which adds up at lower levels. So yeah, if you're patient, you check the GE often and find good offers to put in. This can be a very viable way of training up your magic at the kind of mid to higher levels. Anyway guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you found it useful or you learned something. If you did, I would appreciate it if you left the video a like, and I will see you next time.